जय हिंद चिल्ड्रेन आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लाइव क्लास दिस इज अवर बायोलॉजी क्लास इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव रिवाइज्ड द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ बायोलॉजी दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स एंड ऑन द सेम डे एट लास्ट आई टोल्ड दैट प्लीज रीड द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ बायोलॉजी दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स so i hope that all of my students have read the chapter nutrition in animals so let's start the chapter now children remember that in previous chapter that is nutrition in plants we have discussed about the process of nutrition which are found mainly in the plants and here in this chapter we will discuss the same nutrition process but in the body of animals so simply in this chapter we will discuss the different processes the different steps which are involved in the process of nutrition in animals and we will also take some examples of animals which have the different mode of nutrition by which they obtain their food so i'm going to share my screen to start the chapter now first of all i'm going to introduce about the chapter that is all animals including humans need certain nutrients to stay alive these nutrients are obtained from food the food we eat first it has to be broken down into small particles and these particles then change into simple soluble forms which the body cells absorb and then the food provide nutrients now so it's all the animals including humans need certain nutrients to stay alive and grow these nutrients are obtained from foods and the food we eat is not in a form that can instantly provide us with nutrients so first it has to be broken down into small particles and these particles must then be changed into simple soluble forms which the body cells can absorb only then can food provide nutrients and to obtain the nutrients by the food the different processes involved in the process of nutrition in animals that take in solid food in a body so children you have to remember that the nutrition is a process in which the food that we used to eat get digested absorbed and finally we utilize it to produce energy in our body so just like that as in case of plants in animals body also the various processes involved in this process so the processes which are involved in nutrition in animals are the first one is ingestion ingestion is the taking in of food and it involves taking in the food through the mouth and eating it the second process which involved in nutrition is digestion it is the breakdown of food into a simple soluble form with the help of digestive juices made in the body the third step is absorption it is the process by which the food in the soluble form passes into the body fluids such as blood and the fourth process is assimilation assimilation is the process by which absorbed nutrients are utilized 
by the body. And the last fifth process is ejection. It is the process of elimination of undigested solid parts of the food. Now, students come to the board to explain about these processes in detail. Processes involved in nutrition in animals. So, as I told you, that there are five different processes, and the first process is. Ingestion. Children, it is the process in which we are taking in the food. As we human beings are going to pick the food with our hand and keep it in the mouth. From where the digestion starts. And just like that, different animals ingest the food by different methods. Some of the animals take the food by their body surface like amoeba some of the animals take the food with the help of their tentacles like hydra some of the animals ingest the food with the help of the small hairs which are present on the body surface like paramecium and all so these all processes will term as ingestion and when the food enter in the body the second process is going to start and the second process is digestion In second process, the food which enter in the body, it is in the solid form, which contains different nutrients, but our body cannot use those nutrients in that form. So that is why the breakdown of those nutrients from complex form to simplest form is necessary. And this is going to occur by this process of digestion. So uh, digestion is a process in which the breakdown of food, the big pieces of food, our complex form of food is going to break down into the simpler form or soluble form. And after that, the food can be mixed in our blood and our body can use it. So this process of breaking down of food from complex to simplest form is simply known as digestion. Now the third process is absorption. Absorption is the third process. In this process, after the breaking down of the food, the nutrients which released from it is going to be absorbed by the blood. I say that by the body fluid. Because after that, the nutrients can be utilized to produce the energy in body. So that process of taking in the soluble form of nutrients after the digestion of food in body fluid is known as absorption. Like in case of human beings, when we eat the food, it will get digested in stomach and small intestine and from the wall of small intestine, that nutrients get absorbed and after that it get mixed into the blood. So this process is known as absorption. Now the fourth process assimilation. The fourth process is assimilation. Here in this process, when the absorption of food occurs, so after absorbing it into the blood, 
it goes to the body cells body tissues there they are reacted chemically with oxygen and produce the energy which our body can use for various processes for various functions so this process of utilizing the nutrients after absorbing the digested food and used to produce the energy is known as assimilation so it is a process by which absorbed nutrients are utilized by our body that is assimilation and after the assimilation the last fifth step is digestion digestion is a process in which the undigested or waste food is going to removed out from the body so this removal of undigested food or waste part of the food from the body of animal is simply known as digestion and this occur in the form of solid parts of the food so these all five steps are involved in process of nutrition in animals now come back to the next topic nutrition in amoeba here i'm going to take an example of animal in which the process of nutrition occurs somewhat different way as in humans so the amoeba engulfs tiny particles of food by chewing its feet which is false feet not the true feet and that false feet is known as pseudopodia around the food the pseudopodia join together to form a small cavity and this cavity is known as food vacuole the food inside the vacuole is digested by digestive juices and then it is absorbed and assimilated there to provide energy and perform other function now nutrition in amoeba children amoeba as you know that is an unicellular organism its body is made up of a single cell and that single cell of amoeba is responsible to perform the various life processes and the nutrition is also one of the important life process so it is going to perform by the single cell of amoeba and this process is going to perform as this is the body of amoeba the its shape is not fixed it have the irregular shape this is its cell membrane this one is nucleus when amoeba observed any food particle near to it particle it's going to form a finger like projection from their body
River like projections are actually the false feet. False feet because they use these projections just like as a feet at a finger just to walk just to capture something and that is why it's termed as false feet and its name is pseudopodia so amoeba first going to form pseudopodia around the food to capture it and slowly and slowly this pseudopodia The pseudopodia covers the overall food along with some water because as it is an aquatic organism found in water so the food its food is also present there in the water so at the time to capture the food some water also get captured by the pseudopodia and finally both the pseudopodia both the fingers get fused together Both the pseudopodias get fused and the food particles along with some water entered in the body of amoeba. Here, when it entered in the body of amoeba, it secretes a digestive juice and that digestive juice digests the food particles and after digestion, it absorbs the nutrients which are present in that food particle and utilize that nutrient for their life function. And this captured food particle with some water is termed as food vacuum. Food vacuum. So this one is the process of nutrition in body of amoeba. It forms first the pseudopodia slowly and slowly. The pseudopodia covers the food and finally it captures the food and forms the food vacuum and after that the food get digested and get utilized by the body. Now, children, just see that here I have given the diagram also in your uh, slide that food is going to capture by the amoeba by pseudopodia and finally it get digested then absorbed and assimilated and at last the waste part or undigested part of the food get removed out from the body by the irrigation process so all the five processes are shown here in the diagram very clearly in nutrition in amoeba now come to the next one more example is there nutrition in hydra so hydra is a multicellular organism it is simple multicellular animal it has a number of tentacles around its mouth which are used for ingestion of food the tentacles entangle small aquatic animals and kill them with their stinging cells they then push them into the mouth inside the body cavity the digestive juices secreted by the surrounding cells help to digest the food and this is then absorbed through the cavity walls and assimilated in the cells so children again come to the board to explain the nutrition in Hydra. As already I told that the hydra is a simple 
एक्वेटिक एनिमल विच इज मल्टी सेलर इट्स नॉट यूनिसेलर लाइक द मीबर बिकॉज इट्स बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ नंबर ऑफ सेल्स इट हैज नंबर ऑफ टेंटिकल्स द टेंटिकल्स आर एक्चुअली द फिंगर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट नियर द माउथ so first of all just see the structure of a hydra these finger like structures are known as tentacles and between all the tentacles it have the opening that is the mouth so this is the structure of a hydra when the hydra absorb any food particle any insect or anything near its body is the prey to whom it want to eat so their tentacles move towards the prey and they push them towards the mouth and as the prey goes near to the mouth it enters in the cavity that this is the mouth cavity it enters inside it and when once its prey enter inside the body cavity the digestive juices secretes there and it digest the prey that food and after the combination with the digestive juice the prey get killed and it get digested and after digestion the nutrients get absorbed and assimilated by the body and at last whatever the undigested part is left it get thrown out or removed out from the same opening of the body of hydra so this is the way by which hydra is going to digest its food and completes the process of nutrition so the tentacles which are present here in hydra they entangle small aquatic animals and kill them and with the stinging cells children you must have to know that in the tentacles of hydra they have a specialized kind of cells and the name of those cells are stinging cells such kind of cells are present in all the tentacles and these cells are known as stinging cells which are present in hydra now they then push them into the mouth this one is their mouth they push their food with the help of stinging cells in the mouth and they inside the body cavity the digestive juice is secreted by the body cavity and they digest the food and this is then absorbed to the cavity wall and assimilated in the cell so here you have to remember that the difference in process of nutrition which are observed in amoeba and in hydra as they both are the different kind of animals amoeba is the unicellular organism and hydra is the multicellular organism the process of nutrition is also vary in case of amoeba the ingestion process the first step of the nutrition ingestion process is going to occur by the body surface that is cell membrane 
and here in case of hydra the injection process is going to occur with the help of tentacles which have the stinging cells and the mouth food is kept into the mouth then the digestion starts so they both have the different injection process after that digestion in case of amoeba the food vacuole form the food enters in the body but in hydra food vacuoles does not form because the injection process here not occurred by the body surface so food vacuoles not form here and in amoeba food vacuole and after that the processes are common like the uh, digestive juices secretes in both the animals those digestive juices are responsible to digest the food in both the animals after that the digested food is get absorbed by the body and then it's assimilated to produce energy in the body of both the animals and at last the waste get removed that is process of digestion is again different in both the animals in amoeba that digestion process is going to occur again by the body surface and here the digestion process is going to occur by the same opening in the body body uh, opening are the mouth you can say that so some of the processes are common and some are the somewhat different in nutrition in amoeba and hydra now in this chapter we will discuss some more examples of the animals in which the nutrition is going to occur and we will discuss in detail about the nutrition process in human beings so before starting that nutrition in human beings you must have the complete idea about the process of nutrition that i already told you that it is the process in which the body produces the energy which help to grow our body which help to repair the damaged parts of the body and which help to produce the energy but this nutrition process not going to occur individually it's going to complete with the help of one more process that is respiration so after the nutrition the nutrients which get absorbed and assimilated reached to the body tissues and by the process of respiration that oxygen in health it also reached to the body tissues and they both the oxygen and the assimilated food they both together combined chemically by a chemical reaction and produce the energy and that energy the body of animals gets used up for different life activity now in this chapter that nutrition in animals as i have explained you in detail about the process of nutrition in amoeba and the process of nutrition in hydra just like that the different animals also having the same process of nutrition in different manners but the steps which are involved in this process will be the same that digestion second one is digestion third one is absorption fourth one is assimilation and fifth one is digestion so you must have to remember the name of these processes and their definition once again i'm going to remind you the steps like the first one is digestion so it's ingestion in ingestion process the food particles which are in solid form or in liquid form in some of the some of the animals are going to take their food in liquid form and most of the animals are going to take their food in solid form so the food enter in the body in different ways by using the hands by using the body surface by using the tentacles and all so it enters in the body and 
the second process are going to start so this entering the food into the body is simply known as ingestion process second one the digestion the digestion is a complex process which starts from our mouth and ends in our intestine the different nutrients remember that in previous chapter i have told there are mainly five nutrients present in our food that is carbohydrate proteins vitamins fats minerals so these all nutrients which are present in the food in complex form so it is required to break them or convert them into the cellular form and this breakdown is going to occur by the process of digestion so some of the process of digestion occur in our mouth some occur in stomach some occur in small intestine and then the final digestion of the food gets complete so the digestion breaking down of the food from complex to simplest form the third process was the absorption when the solid food particles get digested so it becomes the liquid after digestion it converted into the liquid form and then this liquid form of nutrients or the digested food gets absorbed by our body fluid that is blood so because the blood can absorb only the liquid part and that is why after digestion the solid food converted into the liquid form for the absorption so in liquid form that nutrients get absorbed by our blood and circulate throughout the whole body with the help of flow of blood because as you know that the blood is going to circulate continuously in our body and it reaches to each and every body tissues so along with the flow of blood these nutrients also flow and goes each and every tissues of our body so this process is known as absorption after the absorption assimilation process occurs in assimilation process as we have discussed that the absorbed food or absorbed nutrients reaches to the body tissues and there these nutrients get react chemically with other substances like oxygen and produces the energy so this uh, production of energy are using up of the nutrients by our body after the absorption is known as simply assimilation and after the assimilation when that nutrients get absorbed energy get produced in the body and all so whatever the food which are left are undigested or we can say that waste they get removed out from the body in the form of solid so this removal of the solid part of the undigested food or waste food is simply known as ejection and this process is observed in all the animals but that means are different in case of human beings in case of amoeba hydra this processes are going to occur in different manner but the processes are the same so ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection these all are the common processes which are going to occur in almost all the animals now i hope that you understood the topic which we have discussed today in the chapter nutrition in animals that is the processes involved in the process of nutrition and the two examples that is nutrition in amoeba and nutrition in hydra and in our next class we will discuss some more examples with um, about the animals uh, in which the nutrition process is going to occur in different manner now thank you and have a nice day.